Hey, y'all. I just reviewed episode 5 from last week. Episode 6 really just made me realize that Wanda is batshit crazy. She is crazy. Wanda institutionalized. Wanda straightjacket. Wanda you're in denial. Wanda something is wrong with you. Because girl no 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 Wanda I want to like you because you're an Avenger. Okay, you're a good person. You, you save the world, Wanda. That's what you do as an Avenger. You save the world. Not make up an alternate universe. Not make up your own little world. Not mind controlling people to live in your world so you can be satisfied. Not you resurrecting your dead lover. Bringing him back from the dead. Basically erasing his mind. Not knowing who he is. Who he really is. Bringing him to life and living this world. Wanda, girl. Mm-mm. 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 No, girl. No, Wanda. Wanda, you need help. You need help, Wanda. Help, y'all. This is episode six of WandaVision. This episode is called An All-New Halloween Spectacular. So, in the last review that I, um, I mentioned this, each decade that they cover they're re they're paying homage to an iconic show of that decade so the 50s was i love lucy the 60s were i dream of genie and the mary tyler moore show and then the 80s you talk about you know you have growing pains that's the intro that they were recreating the growing pains intro and then in the 90s my favorite one of my favorite shows of all time, Malcolm in the Middle. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now when you're not so big. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now when you're not so big. Life is unfair. Y'all. That was my show. Malcolm, Reese, Dewey, Francis. Malcolm in the Middle was such a great show. Such a great show. I am so honored that I got to witness and I got to grow up watching Malcolm in the Middle. That show was a classic. Now, y'all think Breaking Bad, Brian Cranston, y'all think y'all knew him? Oh, Breaking Bad? He's no, no. I remember him as the dad on Malcolm in the Middle. His goofy self, okay? <laughs> that's how I got first introduced to Brian Cranston. Cranston. So, um, yeah. So in the opening of WandaVision, the intro to WandaVision, they are paying homage to Malcolm in the Middle. Okay. So you have Billy. Billy is one of the twins, Billy and Tommy. They are now 10 years old because y'all know that they can age themselves. Okay. So Billy, he is narrating the episode well the beginning of the episode kind of like how Malcolm from Malcolm in the Middle the show that they're paying homage to Malcolm in the Middle Malcolm was kind of like the narrator of the episode sometimes he would break the fourth wall that's what is called in TV world you break the fourth wall that's when you talk to the audience so examples of breaking the fourth wall Malcolm in the Middle um Saved by the Bell if you watch Saved by the Bell back in the day like I did Zach Morris, he used to break the fourth wall and talk to the audience. That's what it that's what the term is, breaking the fourth wall. So Billy was breaking the fourth wall in the beginning of the episode, telling us about, okay, so you know, it's Halloween this and you know, mom and dad, they're not on good terms. Breaking the fourth wall, talking to the audience, us. So Tommy, what I'm getting from this, okay, Tommy is Reese. Reese out of you know, Malcolm in the Middle. Reese was the second oldest. It was Francis, Reese, Malcolm, and Dewey. So Tommy is Reese, and then Billy is Malcolm. Okay, so Pedro, he is sleeping on the couch. 
and he scares them and whatever he's chasing them doing his speed because he is quicksilver um wanda comes downstairs and she's in her comic book costume okay you guys remember um what was it it was in the 60s i believe it was episode three when um they did their little like stance you know their little comic book stance she is dressed like her comic book um costume she is dressed in her comic book costume and then vision he is dressed in his comic book costume so um vision was like yeah so i'm gonna do some neighborhood watch you know so i'm not gonna be going trick-or-treating with you guys and tommy tells us that her that wanda and vision aren't really on good terms right now understandable and so vision is saying he's gonna you know do the neighborhood watch i automatically i just saw this episode this morning i saw episode six this morning automatically i said he's about to go to the border vision is about to go to the shield he's about to go to the border he's gonna find out where this border is and that is exactly what he did in this episode okay so um like say i'm looking at my computer right here so um the boys and wanda they're going trick-or-treating and well they're about to go trick-or-treating and tommy and quicksilver petro dresses up as petro's super alter ego quicksilver um back at base camp they get the drone and it's covered in like Wanda's powers and Monica is pissed of course because that's not what was going to happen that's not what was going to go according to plan and so Darcy and Wu Agent Wu they're on Monica's side they're working with Monica okay they're not trying to antagonize Wanda because that is what S.W.O.R.D. is doing they are just pressing they're they keep pressing Wanda's buttons that's what they're doing they keep pressing Wanda's buttons Wanda told them to last episode, leave her alone. Do not mess with her. She's not going to mess with you. Leave her alone. But guess what? Sword keeps antagonizing her. They keep pressing her buttons. Monica was like, stop antagonizing her so she could be the solution. Okay. That's all Monica's trying to do. She's not trying to mess with Wanda anymore because we don't know what Wanda's going to do. Okay. So she's trying to like, take it slowly with Wanda and not keep pressing her buttons but Hayward tells her that you don't know what it was like when it occurred okay you weren't here you don't know what happened you don't know you know how hard it was to keep the lights open you're lucky that you weren't there when your mom died okay because y'all they mentioned it in the episodes that her mom died okay so what the blip okay everybody infinity wars Thanos scott all of the stones snapped his fingers and some people disintegrated some avengers disintegrated okay into the quantum realm okay and so monica was a part of the individuals who were in the blip so what happened is that he escorts Hayward escorts Monica, Wu, and Darcy off of the premises. But they end up beating up some guards and they end up being dressing as a disguise of sword soldiers. So, back in Westview, everybody is trick or treating. And, you know, they're bringing up, making jokes. Oh, you look different. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Because Evan Peters is playing Quicksilver. Evan Peters did not play Quicksilver in age of ultron it was played by aaron taylor johnson i'm so sorry it's a bump but aaron taylor johnson played quicksilver in the age of ultron okay so what happens is that wanda sees herb and she's trying to talk to him but herb gets a cause you know what's going on candy is being stolen what else pumpkins are being smashed silly string Wanda, I gotta take care of this. And then Wanda was like, oh, just tell Vision. He'll help you. Oh, I haven't seen Vision. 
I don't know where he's at. And then he says, he asked her, is there something that you want changed? Why are you asking her if it's something that she wants to change? Like, oh my. Wanda, you're messing with people's minds. Oh my gosh. So Vision, he's on in a different part of town. He's walking through the neighborhood. He's seeing people, you know, trick-or-treating, laughing, giggling, whoop de woo And then he turns his head and he sees a lady. She's hanging up her laundry, but she's not hooking the laundry onto the string. She keeps doing the same thing. She's doing the same thing. She's doing the same thing. She's doing the same thing over and over again. But you notice that there's a tear coming down her face as she's doing this over and over again. She's trapped. <laughs> that is it. She is trapped. Okay. So, um, a commercial. Because, you know, throughout each episode, they do this commercial. One, it was Hydra. They did a commercial for Hydra. And then the next one, it was a commercial about like a, a watch. Another thing, it was about like paper towel. That, I think that was in the last episode. But this episode, these commercials are kind of like Easter eggs or something like that. Kind of like hints or whatever. But um, it was like a claymation. And this kid was on the island. And it, the kid is hungry. And a shark comes up and gives him like this yogurt. The kid is struggling to open up the yogurt and time is passing by and the kid is slowly dying until he is just bones marvel what is going on in y'all heads over there in that studio what is going on okay um petro he tells wanda because the kids got in trouble um petro tells wanda that look i'm just here because to cause trouble, okay, to spend time with my um, nephews, mess with my brother, and, you know, give you a headache. That is what I'm here for. And so, Wanda, he's here because that's what she wanted, okay? Wanda was like, where's your accent? But then he was like, where's your accent? Because y'all remember, they had like that really like thick, in the Age of Ultron movie, they had like that very thick, you know accent that they had but their accent slowly faded away she had it i think she had her accent in civil war i think that's when she had her accent but slowly her accent has gone away and so um what is it okay and he tells her that he heard something and it was her calling saying calling him saying that she needed him to come to Westview. Um, Tommy, he discovered a power, another power that he has, speed, just like Quicksilver. And so she tells the boys, oh, you can go and do this, but don't go past Ellis Avenue. Don't go past Ellis Avenue. Okay, so, y'all, this is about to get good, y'all. It's about to get good. So, where am I at? Where am I at? Do, 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 do. Where am I at? Okay. Okay. Back at camp. Okay. Monica and Wu, they see Pedro on screen. Okay. Darcy hacks the system. Come to find out Hayward is tracking Vision. He also has the location of where the bound, the border is from Westview to the real world. They also see these dots. And that is, those dots represent people that are in the same vicinity as Vision, but they're not moving. They're frozen. Cut back to Vision. Vision is walking into a neighborhood and everybody is frozen. What the hell is going on? So Vision transforms into his self. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Vision transform into his superhero self he's looking around and then all of a sudden he sees this car near a stop sign he goes down there 
and it's Agnes. He asked Agnes, what are you doing? She was like, she asked about time, town square, town square. She was like, I must have took a wrong turn. Vision was like, how can you take a wrong turn in a city where you lived your whole life in? Okay, so Vision, he touches her temple the same way he touched Norm's temple in episode five. Okay, he touches her temple. She says, oh my gosh, you're Vision. You're here to help. You're an Avenger. Vision was like, yeah, I am here to help. But what's an Avenger? Wanda. <sighs> Wanda must have done something. She, we already know. Episode 5, we saw the video footage of her entering S.W.O.R.D. headquarters, resurrecting Vision's dead body. Wanda, you must have done something. To make Vision not know that he is an Avenger. I said this before in episode 5. I'm going to break it down, down for y'all again. Vision is a mixture of Jarvis. Who like I said is like. Jarvis is like who Albert is to Batman. Is his name Albert? I feel like his name is Albert. Let me just Google it for y'all. I don't want to be on here looking. Sounding stupid. I feel like his name is Albert. Albert DC. Uh, oh gosh. Hold on, y'all. I'm literally like Googling this. I feel like his name is Albert. Alfred, Alfred, y'all that shows y'all how much I don't, I don't pay attention to, um, DC movies, but, um, Alfred, okay, Alfred, my bad y'all, but how Alfred is to Batman, okay, Batman trusts Alfred, that's his, you know, comrade, that's the person, that's his go-to, that he helps Batman when he's in situations, how Alfred is to Batman is how Jarvis was to Tony Stark. Okay. Tony created Jarvis, you know, helping him out in any situations. Jarvis was voiced by Paul Bettany. And so in Age of Ultron, in order to defeat the evil, you know, Ultrons that Tony created... He took one he took one of the Ultrons along with Bruce Banner. So Jarvis was created by Tony Stark and Bruce Banner using Jarvis AI in the Ultron. So that is how Vision came to be. He is an Avenger because of Tony Stark and Bruce Banner. So he is an Avenger. He was in Civil War. Of course he was in Age of Ultron. He was in Civil War. He was in um what he was in Infinity Wars, of course. Um, he was in other Avenger movies, so he's an Avenger. Vision is an Avenger. For him to say what is an Avenger, that broke my heart because oh my gosh, and Vision is in charge of the Mind Stone. That is what Tony Stark and Bruce Banner did. They put the Mind Stone in Vision. Vision is the holder of the Mind Stone. Okay, and so. For him to say what is an Avenger, that really broke my heart. That really, really broke my heart. And so Agnes was like, am I dead? Am I dead? He was like, no. Should you be? And she was like, no, but you are. Vision is dead. We all know Vision is dead. He got stabbed by the Black Order in Infinity Wars. He was trying to heal up, but he wasn't able to heal up. They took him to Wakanda. Shir Shiri was trying to fix him up, but he went into battle trying to help the Avengers against Thanos. 
he got knocked down. He wanted Wanda to take out the stone, but she couldn't do it. And so Thanos end up, end up ripping the stone from Vision's head, causing him to die. That is how Vision died. And so she tells him, tells him, but you're dead. And he's like, he is really confused. Vision is just so, so confused. And Vision was like, I'm trying to help you. And she keeps repeating that she's dead. She's dead. She keeps repeating it. And then she wants to leave. She wants to leave, but Wanda isn't letting them leave. And she just starts laughing crazy and Vision tries to snap her out of it, but he touches her temple and she goes right back to Agnes. Vision is so confused. I feel so bad for Vision. And then he notices that he is standing on Ellis Avenue, the same street that Wanda Tur told her boys not to go to. Vision is now standing in Ellis Avenue. And then he proceeds to walk towards the border. <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all, this episode just like was so crazy. So, okay. <sighs> oh my gosh. So, Monica gets a text back at camp. Wanda gets a text saying that her guy is on the way. He'll be here in an hour. They're about to meet at the bridge. I feel like her guy, I don't know why, but I feel like it's Doctor Strange. Okay, played by Benedict Cumberbatch. I feel that it's Doctor Strange. I really do because Wanda is messing up reality. And she's basically rewriting stuff. Okay. Doctor Strange is in charge of the time stone. It's in his necklace, okay? He's in charge of the time stone. I feel like Doctor Strange is going to make an appearance. I feel like Doctor Strange is Monica's guy. That's what I feel like. I feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like we're going to see Doctor Strange in the next episode. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. So, um, Darcy was like, you can't do that. Okay, Hayward took her blood work. And her sales... You know, after she's been in there, her cells were rewritten. So it's like her energy cells, the in something like that. Her cells were rewritten. And so Darcy says that, look, I'm staying. I'm about to break through, you know, the last firewall. And Monica was like, look, OK, once you get it, I'll drop you to a location. You meet us there. OK, so Monica and Agent Wu, they get into the car and they drive to the location. Okay. So back at Westview, Monica and Petro, they're having a hard heart. And, you know, Petro is saying, oh, your parent, parents, our parents would be like be so proud of this neighborhood and everything like that. So then he asked her, where did you get all these kids from? You know, I'm pretty sure they were all asleep. And then he asked her, like, how does she do it? How does she create this? And Wanda was like, you know, I just did it because I was lonely and I was empty. Like, that, that was it. And she turns her head and then she turns back. Literally in front of her is Petro's dead body from his body and like how he like how he looked after he got attacked by Ultron. And so... She snaps out of it and he's back to his real self. That's what kind of happened a couple of episodes ago. I think in episode three, when she blasted um, Monica out of the house and then Vision came and she turned her turned to him and he was dead. It was dead Vision. Same thing that happened. Dead um, Petra was in her face and then she snapped back and it was his you know, normal self. Um, now... This is the climax scene. This scene was so heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. <sighs> okay. So both Hayward and Darcy, 
they see vision is about to cross the border. Okay, Hayward and Darcy, they go outside. Vision is trying to get past, he's struggling to get past the border. Okay, Sword, yeah, okay, Sword is at the border, guns are drawn, Darcy, she's there, she's, she's at the border. Vision, little by little, Vision is disintegrating. Bits and pieces of Vision is going back into the border. Okay, he is slowly disintegrating. Okay, so, cut to Billy, okay? Darcy also, Darcy tries to help him, but a sword member holds her back. We cut to Billy. Billy is standing in the middle of the street, and he hears Vision, okay? He hears Vision, and he hears Hayward saying, he's calling, he wants a way out, okay? He's trying to get out. He hears Vision screaming and Hayward saying he wants out. He then calls Wanda, okay? Billy tells Wanda, I hear daddy. He's asking for help, okay? Back to Vision. Like I said, little by little, he's disintegrating. Vision is about to die right now, okay? Because he's dead in the real world. He's alive in this fake universe. But in the real world, Vision is dead, okay? So Vision is about to die the longer that he stays out of the border in the real world. He's about to die. And he falls to the ground and he is about to die, okay? So then um, Darcy gets handcuffed to a car and Vision is begging for help. He's like, help, I'm trying to help, okay? So then Juan, get back to Westview Petro says something was like, look, he can come back. He's been dead twice and can come back. Wanda uses her powers and shifts him over there. And she tells Billy, focus, focus. Where is your dad? Focus. Billy closes his eyes and he was like, they're soldiers. Dad is about to die. Dad is dying. Wanda freezes everything. Okay, Wanda stops. She basically stops, freezes in time, basically. And to get a close-up, the camera gets a close-up. Her eyes turn red. And what is happening is that Wanda is growing the border. Wanda is expanding the border. While she's doing that, while she's expanding the border, you get a bird's-eye view of Westview. Vision... Okay, Vision, he's back inside Westview because Wanda is expanding the border. She saved Vision. Also, okay, also, SWORD members, SWORD members, they're trying to leave. They're getting caught up in the border. Okay, so now they're trapped in Westview. Darcy, she was handcuffed to a truck. She is now stuck in Westview. Monica and Agent Wu sees the um border and sees what happening agent Wu tells monica to drive fast and monica drives fast so everyone is getting stuck in westview hayward is on the radio the border is literally like on the back of the truck that hayward is in and so he's on the radio saying can anyone hear me can anyone hear me can anyone hear me hello can anyone hear me no one is answering. You cut back to Wanda, her eyes, they go back to normal. I feel bad for one person and one person only, and that is Vision. I feel so bad for Vision because he is innocent. I feel bad for Vision and I feel bad for everyone else in Westview because they are all innocent. Wanda, Wanda is crazy. She's crazy. Wanda, I don't want them to kill her, but she needs to stop 
because what she is doing, it's not okay. You're controlling these people's minds to try to make this world to where it's a happy life with you and Vision. I understand that Vision was taken away from you in a horrible way. Understandable. But my God, this is not the way you handle grief. Wanda has yet to grieve. She has yet to grieve Vision dying. Okay? She has yet to do it. And she is grieving. She is in denial and she is grieving. And she needs help. Okay? Because this isn't this isn't right what she's doing. This this isn't right. This is crazy. And I feel so bad for Vision. I feel so bad because he doesn't know he's an Avenger anymore. Oh my gosh. Wanda. Y'all, this episode was really good. This episode was really good. It really this episode was really good. I was so confused on how the show was gonna be. When I first heard about it, I'm like, how is this going to happen? Because Vision is dead. Like, did she create this universe where he's alive? Episode 1 and 2, they were slowly building up to what the show is now. Episode 3. <sighs> this episode was good. This was a really, really good episode. I cannot wait until next Friday. Who do y'all think is Monica's guy? Who do y'all think it is? I think it's Doctor Strange. If you think it's Doctor Strange, tell me why you think it's Doctor Strange. Because I, I think it's Doctor Strange. If you think it's somebody else, put in the comments. Let's discuss. Y'all, this was a good episode. Alright, y'all. I will see y'all next week for episode 7 of WandaVision. Peace, love.